Welcome to Crazy Gamer Models. I am the Crazy Gamer and I do models. How is everyone doing on this fine day? This will this will be a look at a kit, what's inside and how everything looks, how the sprues look, uh, sprue gates, how the connection points, any flash, things like this. In future videos I'll do a build review of this kit and we'll talk about the fit and build complexity. Tell me in the comments what you think of the kit and if you want to see it built next on the channel. Let's take a look at the kit we have to look at today. And if you know anything about my channel, I'm a big fan of Panthers and I don't have this Panther. I don't have any version of this Panther. So it is a TACOM kit, full interior, and it is a Panther off D. It is a late production with the Zimrit, and it looks like it has an interesting Zimrit plan pattern on it, and I'm always a big fan of that. This is kit number 2104, and we're going to take a look at the side here. We have two schemes there. They don't look too complicated on there. A little bit of glare. Sorry about that. And then we have the computer drawing of what the interior could look like painted. Nice cream interior with a gray floor and a little bit of the roto bond in the back. So I don't know how accurate that is for the D's, but you know we have the reference materials to, to find out. And on this side, we have a map of all the sprues that are in the box. So looks like we got a good fair amount of sprues, some doubles of some sprues. Now I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a lot of common sprues in this box that are common to all the panther kits and I will go ahead and point those out and we'll see how they look seeing how they're run a little bit more than some of the more unique parts to just this kit in particular so it's a it's a full box it's one of their smaller boxes it's not like their G boxes that their newer kits come in but there's one two three four five <clears throat> 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bags of sprues in here. And many of them have more than one um, thing of sprues. So let's put the pad down and take a look at what we have here. So I'm going to put our little thing. This is our email. You can email me here. You can also find me on Instagram at crazy. At, um, it's just crazy gamer models, one word. And also I have a Facebook page which is Crazy Gamer Models. So this is your D, E, and A sprue. This is going to be your wheels. It's going to be your wheels and your torsion bars. And I like to look at these torsion bars to see how much cleanup we're going to need. But um, here's your two. Oh, actually, this is a K5 sprue. It's not your A sprue. So these are separate wheels than what would come on your Panther A kits. So we're going to go in a little bit here. Right there. And I'm take a look at these here. So these are nice looking wheels. They are slightly different than what's on the A. So there's two of these sprues. Anybody that does... Um, German tanks knows that there's a lot of wheels. So, and then here we have your D and your E sprue. This is your common sprue. We have our torsion bars. And if you take a look there, there is a little bit of mold line, mold seam line on some of the torsion bars that shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Other than that, everything looks pretty crisp. We'll get a full shot of it. Make sure nothing's missing in the future. So it does have the periscopes on it. Um, not periscopes, but you know, lenses to look out. Proper name has escaped me. Um, there's, they're not in clear plastic on the Panthers. On the King Tigers they make, they're in clear plastic. You have the seats with some nice um, detail in the back of the seats. Nice little copper gold brush on our dry brush on that. You have some ammo bags, and then you have your suspensions on your D sprue, along with your sprockets and idler wheel components. And then there's some random random parts on the E sprue that are used in different spots, along with the D. So 
that is, oh, we'll get a picture of this one for purposes of if something's missing later, I can rewatch the video to see if it was missing when I got it or if I lost it. And then maybe I can track it down. So sometimes it takes me a little while to get to a kit to do a build on. This is your T sprue and your S sprue. We don't get defeated by this plastic bag. That wouldn't be fun. So this is a three-piece lower hull, so it's not a bath style style bathtub style hull. This is your T sprue, there's side one, and then there's side two. You have some nice boxes here. Um, they normally do get the Zemrit, some fenders and some side pieces. See, I'm thinking they're going to be pieces somewhere else in the kit that have the Zimmerit on it. So, here is one of the, this is the outside of the hall, the lower hall, and here is your inside where all your torsion bars are going to plug into and things like that. So, and then over here you have your upper sections of the side hull that the skirts would connect to. You have a rear hatch or bulkhead and then you have some nice slide molded pieces here. Some nice detail on these driver and radio operator hatch covers and some nice texture detail on the I can pick that up on the um, engine cover engine deck cover so and that's your S sprue. That texture is also present on the covers here. So let me see if I can turn these lights down just a little bit. Get a better try that. Yeah, that took a little bit of the glare off and now you can see it. Okay. And then there's the S sprue. So, there we go. That would be those two sprues. And now we're going to look at the E and we're going to start to see some of the Zimmert pattern and some of the replacement parts for the parts that were on that sprue we just looked at. Now this is very precarious and I would probably trim these off these little pieces here but take a look at it like that. Nice shot of everything. This is your E3 sprue and the mantlet here has a very nice Zimmerick picture pattern on it that looks nice even on the side of the mantlet here there's some nice Zimmerick pattern and it does appear it does look like it would be hand applied in the square hatch pattern and it looks pretty accurate and with what my reference photos that I have look like nice fender pieces the lower front of the hull and then the rear of the turret and then here are your stowage bins that go on the back of the tank and they're nicely nicely zimmered all the way around except for the bottom of course so they're one piece they have the nice latches this would be a nice kit to add some nice photo etch detail to I'm always a fan of like the photo etch tool, tool clamps, latches, clasps little chains and locks and also of a nice pattern Zimmerit. Unfortunately I, I'm building a Panther A and I chose to use some photo edge Zimmerit and it looks very factory applied and not not as nice as a pattern like could be. Now we're gonna look at the tracks. Uh, Tack on tracks are interesting because you have to glue the guide horns on them 
but this will be your F and your G C sprue. So we have two F sprues here, which are your individual guide horns, all on their own sprues that you just cut them off. You would cut them off here, and then you take this whole strip and glue them on the corresponding track pieces. It's not too bad, it just it takes some patience and a steady hand and you would glue them on and then you would cut them off of here. Uh, there's no ejector pin marks on the tracks. They, they are nice on both sides, they're clean. So the only marks you have will be on the sides here and they tend to clean up halfway decent. So the tracks, are, they're not too bad once you get past the individual guide horns gluing them on and making sure they're dry and trimming off they'll um, it'll go pretty well I am actually currently doing this on my Panther A and I have just finished gluing on the individual track guide horns and it looks like we have another set of wheels here for this V3 wheels A3 so we have another set of A3 wheels so that's that. Let um, me just take a look at the pattern on these. Not sure. We'll have to look at what the book says. Why we have a different set of wheels. Take a look at this one and then we're going to look at the hull. So this is your L and your M sprue. This is pretty common. To all the Panther models that have full interiors, it is basically your transmission, your drivetrain, and some other various components. You have your heat, take a picture of it this way. You have your heat removal pipe from the transmission to the engine. You have your transmission pieces, you have some radiator tops, um, some liquid storage in the back transmission over here nice detail all the way around on that transmission little bent piece right there and then we have our M sprue which has a bunch of little pieces on it that are your drivetrain and different pieces that are used throughout the, the build of the model you pull the M sprue out a lot I like to gauge how clean these one and two parts are these little handles as to if there's any mold lines and they look pretty good it doesn't appear that there's any kind of flash or mold lines on those and uh, it looks good so does the drive tr drive shafts so everything looks pretty good on that so that is the L and the M sprue Now, I, I know there's reviews of this out there, probably. There's probably website reviews that show you some super high-def pictures of this this vehicle. If you don't like it, all I can say is don't watch it. I mean, it doesn't hurt me if you don't watch it. I, I mainly do this for the fact that it, it's a video record of what I did for the day, and what I did today was look at this kit and determine on what I want to build next so I figured I'd share that with you so here is the turret top of the turret and you can see that Zemrit looks fantastic I really like this pattern they have an A that has a similar pattern that, um, but I think this one wins out I'll have to do a comparison of the two the lower hull here a little bit of warpage a little bit of warpage but I don't think that'll be a problem so and I like how they left the spots free for the tools that will go on here so it definitely looks more factory applied you might have to do a little bit of touch up to make it look like it was like squished over the brackets and stuff but that's not that hard to do at all so a little bit of Mr. Servicer 500 and like a stempling action and you know a little bit of a sharp knife and you can do that no problem. I might even show that in a video when I build this tank. 
So that is that. All right, now we're going to get into some of the turret interior with this G sprue. This is going to have your turret floor. Let's take a look at it here. Your turret floor. It has your uh, recoil guard and a bunch of the little pieces that go into the turret. It has your breech. There is your breech block there. And some nicely molded pieces over here. Nice gear molds right there that don't even... They have a mild seam, mild seam down. Let's see if I can get in there with the pointer. Down there, but that shouldn't be too hard to, to remedy. It may not even be seen. So, this looks nice. Everything looks pretty good on here. Even these little pieces don't appear to have too much seam lines or flash or anything like that. Everything seems to be crisp and well detailed. I know that seeing the sprues does not tell you how it goes together and how it, how it fits and all that stuff. But what I do think it does is if you've never built... Uh, a kit like this with a full interior and you're looking to see you know how small are these parts how many parts are there going to be and things like that and this this helps with that you know people can look on here and see this I, I look for videos of looking at the sprues of kits all the time because I like to see what they look like here is your F2 and your J2 sprue. This has got your final drive covers on it and also all your tools without tool clamps. So if you want to use a third party um, photo etch tool clamps, which I use a lot from Alliance Model Works, you can do that. It also has your tow cable linkage. Be careful taking off this five here. They tend to be very brittle and difficult. To not break but that is J2 and F2 and then we have this will be J we have the barrel some more of the turret the muzzle brake here two-piece muzzle brake one-piece barrel <coughs> excuse me and we have some nice we have some caps here with some nice texture so doesn't it's a little seam on the barrel here right in this area here but that shouldn't be nice soft sandy sponge you'll take that off the machine guns don't look bad they're all right here so everything looks good get a shot of that so let us see here that one back in, this one back in the bag. Hey, you, you guys let me know in the comments what, what, what kind of tank you want me to build next. I mean, I'm doing a photo etch upgrade review on a Panther A, a nice command tank coming up. I'm almost done with the King Tiger build review from TACOM, so we'll be looking for another build review. Thursdays is going to be starting the USS North Carolina in 1350 a scale by trumpeter so and we're going to do some cool spooky history and other history about that one this is your r2 sprue which is going to have some engine components on it your engine bulkheads and another engine cover with a little bit of detail on it also this hatch cover some exhaust options there are many exhaust option choices for the Panthers so you need to do your research on which one you are looking for and this appears to be more of a turret interior looks like we have all kinds of things I'm not sure what all the rings are for 
this is new to me. So. So let's see here. Let's move on to the next sprue. And guys, if you want to see what I'm working on at any time, you can visit my Instagram. It's Crazy Gamer Models. Um, if you have questions or you want to participate in Feedback Friday, or you know I discuss topics you bring up, you can email me at this Crazy Gamer Models at gmail.com. Or you can leave a comment below and um, I'll talk about it on Feedback Friday. Ideas you may have or things you want to talk about. This is going to be your R and your Q sprue. This is going to be your, your ammo storage and the storage containers that just have the tips of the ammo. There is the R sprue. And then there is the Q sprue. This is going to have more of your lower hull components and some hoses and piping. This is your um, lever arms that go over the transmission for the driver. And then this is your um, supports for the floor. And then this is all your ammo boxes. And then your ammo racks. And then, like I said, the tips of the ammos that go into the boxes. So this is a typical R sprue uh, that goes goes into the other with all the other Panthers with turrets. I say with Panthers with turrets because the Yag Panther is a Panther that shares a lot of sprues with the other Panthers, but this is not one of them. And this one's going to be difficult to get back in. I am going to take a short pause here and I'll be back in a few seconds to finish up the sprues and then we'll take a look at the book.